What would we use W for in Vim? Well, we use it to move by words. Hey, welcome back to another video in my short series on Vim, Vim Alphabet, a course from A to Z. Today, we're getting pretty close to the end. We're talking about W. Now, W is like uh, what, B and E. It allows you to navigate your text by words, but unlike B and E, this goes to the beginning of each word forward. So B was back by words, E goes to the end of the word forward, um, and W uh, goes to the beginning of the next word. So let's open up an editor and check this out. Let's go ahead and open our lipsum.txt file, which just has two paragraphs of lorem ipsum. The command is pretty simple. We're starting that, that first position, and I'm going to hit W once, and that's going to take me to the beginning of the next word. Hit it again, the beginning of the next word. Now, again, what this does is it's going to, the lowercase w is going to uh, consider these special characters words. So as we get to the comma, it's going to stop on the comma and then go to the next word again. Now uh, I can hit back to go back over those. If I do a capital W now, when I uh, go to uh, hit capital W here, it's going to go to the next word, ignoring that special character, the comma. It's just gonna do actual words. Now in code, this can be a little bit tricky because depending on your programming languages, if you have underscores or dashes or whatever, it's going to treat those differently. Um, and also there's configuration for what it regards and doesn't regard as a special character. But by default, in general, know that the lowercase w is going to go by words and it's going to stop on these special characters. Uh, the uppercase w is going to go by words to the beginning of the next word, but skip uh, characters like period. If you need more help, you can do colon help and w or colon h w for short and get all of the goodies around this command. Now it's a pretty straightforward command, so we've already really covered everything that you'll need to know about W. So that's it for today. We covered W. Thank you for watching. If you have any helpful hints or questions, feel free to throw those in the comments below and I or someone else might get back to you. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in X.